Hi everybody, I'm so excited to talk to you about this book. It's a great book, it's called Earth, My First 4.54 Billion Years, and it's by Stacey McNulty, illustrated by David Litchfield. I know we're not supposed to judge books by their covers, but come on, this book is just super, super cute. You have a picture of the Earth, giving a little smile, and I think this book kind of gets a pass, because whenever I look at this cover, I really just want to know what the Earth is thinking and what it might be saying if it could talk. And that's exactly what we're gonna learn from this book. So this book really represents my favorite kind of nonfiction. It's the kind that's filled with great illustrations, humor and information, and it's delivered in a way that is equal parts fascinating and entertaining. It's the kind of book that best serves young readers, I'd say about kindergarten to second grade, and works really well when you use it in a series with some other more traditional nonfiction. So in the book, the Earth is super charming. It starts off introducing itself and its family of planets, and also Pluto, who is more like the family pet, according to Earth. And Earth tells us a little bit about some of its favorite things to do, like spinning and circling around the sun, and about its best friend, the moon. They hang out all the time. Now that we've gotten to know Earth a little bit, our planet goes back to its birth 4.54 billion years ago. So we see Earth as a baby, but then we also see it surviving collisions with asteroids, and it admits that it hasn't always been an easy life. So at the end of the book, we've reached the present day, and Earth is reflecting on humans, who it says has been super fun and full of wonder, but sometimes forget to share and play nice. It's a really important moment, asking readers to think about how we treat our planet and how we treat each other. But then, our optimistic and very proud narrator ends by expressing its deep confidence that we will make good choices after all. So thank you, Earth, and I certainly hope you're right.